right. So, I've got some other videos planned, but um, I think this is important. Um, it was about a week ago, uh, I reached out to this young man for advice and help on stuff that I was going through on how I was feeling in regards to the channel and the fact that this dude has a lot more experience at being at a high level of people uh, subscribed to him which includes a high amount of people not liking you and dumping on you constantly in a greater volume than I do and I reached out to him I also reached out to two friends of mine on discord as well and um, Dynasty is fantastic. And I was wrong about Dynasty. Because I know people probably wondering, well, why are you talking about True Underdog anymore? It's because it's very simple. Right? I don't want to be right about these people. And when I first started doing my videos, I had a video that I was calling out Dynasty on, which I have deleted. And I told him I deleted it in a chat we had. And I remember going on one of his videos, calling him a shill, and he responded. Right? And then from there, we've had a few conversations, right? And he's one of the most down to earth, honest, just pretty relaxed sort of people, right? And so I saw this and then there were some other ones which aren't there at the moment. Um, and that's fine. Everyone vents, I've vented, like it's cool, but this man helped me, right? All the other people I spoke to, but I had a conversation with this dude on Discord and he talked to me, right, about some stuff. Doesn't matter what age people are, you can learn something from everybody, right? And just because I'm older than him doesn't mean to say that I still can't learn, right? And he is one of the realest people in this space, right? And I like obviously for him, you know, he's coming from the position where, uh, well, let's, let's read it. He goes, it's very tiring, continue and share a space with people who present themselves as decent people, but ultimately play the worst salad games to avoid pissing off devs and being called a shill. Every day I get told I'm a negative person and I need to stop covering MK. I actually get told that too, right? I've actually noticed this quite a lot lately that the very people that were telling me to stop covering Mortal Kombat because we don't need to give them the attention are the very same people that are still covering it. Not to mention the comments saying, let it go, get over it, blah, 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 right? It's very interesting, people get to a certain position and then suddenly people seem to have this right over what you do and say on your channel. Like they're paying you. Now, we appreciate the views and the fact that you stay there and, and may or may not click the ads or whatever happens, sure, but Every single person that creates a YouTube channel, or Twitch channel, social media, they've created it in the design and the, the, the direction that they want to take it. They want to cover the things they want to cover. They want to talk about the things they want to talk about. You're not beholden to anyone to do that, right? The reason why they found you in the first place is because of who you are. If you start changing that for one or two people that are trying to be louder than the rest, it's no different to listening to the crazies on Twitter, right? I need to stop covering MK because I don't talk about it uh, on a regular basis, but it's like, if I don't attempt to hold NRS WWE accountable, which I agree, who will? No one else is critical and generally honest about their feelings outside of a few, and it's not like the constant disappointment and negativity doesn't get to me. Yep. And this is why I talk to this man. Right? So now he's, go he's going through a phase two, like I did. Right? because it was feeling like there for a while that um, I just didn't know if I could do it anymore, to be honest. Because there has been a concerted effort for a while to try and shut me up, right? And so, apart from my friends that I spoke to, I also spoke to Dynasty, who I consider a friend. We've spoken enough and He's cool, he's spoken to my son as well and talked about some pretty cool, I don't know why I talk about that part, I probably, maybe, anyway, he's talking about some cool stuff which my son really loved to hear, you know, 
is as real as you get. And I think because he wears his heart on his sleeve a lot, that comes with the territory. When they see the open, <laughs> when they see it on your arm, they're going to go for it more, right? Because you are being yourself. Uh, the worst part about this is there is no scenario where somehow people change and companies welcome me into the fold for being honest and genuine with concerns, etc. I will always be a pariah for not kissing ass to the publisher and their appointed managers and I don't know why I continue to think that one day all of this will be worth it. Well, so, you know, Total MK, like Total MK has been blacklisted by Warner Brothers because he didn't kiss ass either, right? Because he stays true to his word, just like you're staying true to your word, right? You know they got my face on the dartboard. You know that. <laughs> right, they don't like me. They won't ever like me, right? But to me, dude, you are successful. You have built a channel that is just phenomenally gigantic. <laughs> like, I can't even imagine what that's being like but almost half a million subscribers, right? I haven't, got ha I haven't even got halfway to 10,000 subscribers, let alone half a million, right? So the pressure and, and the amount of animosity that you must get is far greater, right? And not just far greater on YouTube, being talked about on Twitter, being talked about, I guess, on Reddit and other places like that, right? And as I said in my video, talking about True Underdog, I was glad, I want to be wrong about people. I prefer to be wrong. Some people have not proven me wrong. I thought they were, I was being proven wrong and I wasn't. Dynasty, I was proven wrong. And I hope that True Underdog will also be proven wrong. And we'll get to that in a minute. Right? But to me, you're successful. To me, people watch you because it's you. Right? People want to hear from the world of Dynasty. That's how big you are right now. And if you want to continue to talk about whatever you want to talk about, just do it. Advice that you have been giving me. Don't let this stuff get to you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Right? Now, I'm trying to... I, I, hopefully, I'm trying to help. Right? And I say this to people, even if it's friends of mine. Right? I had a friend of mine yesterday having some, he was having some issues in the Discord. I got cranky. I said, get on the fucking chat right now. We are talking this out. And we did. And everything was cool. Because you have a conversation. Right? It's amazing how much can change in a conversation. Right? If you're worried about something that I have done or something that somebody else has done, reach out. Ask them what's going on. What do you mean by this? That sort of thing, right? And so that was why I was very grateful that I was able to ever talk to Dynasty. And then, of course, you know, it's, it's gone on from there, right? Um, uh, I, uh, it ain't, but I feel like you all deserve the attempt to fight the good fight because without people like me, you're left with a clique of people uh, who present themselves as something they are not. Correct. Uh, I could cover other games and make other content, but I've been doing it for so long it's hard to throw in the towel and let this shit die. Well, I don't think you've got to throw in the towel, bro. I think you just just start sprinkling some stuff in between. I, I, I honestly think you're big enough that people just want to watch you do other shit as well. Like, they don't care. Like, they don't, like they, they don't care. I think you're that big now as a personality that it doesn't matter, Right? And you will get, listen, listen, you, you've obviously heard of Asmon Gold, right? Right, that, that millionaire bum. <laughs> right. He mostly covered WoW for most of his life, right? And then he, like, when he started, like, because he used to rag on Final Fantasy fourteen, And I think when Endwalker was coming out, uh, and he was getting disenfranchised. Wow, he decided to go play over Endwalker. So he garnered a whole new following of people, right? Because people wanted to see him play another MMO, not him only play WoW, right? I'm sure there were some, but 
and then he's gone on from there where he started has started to react to videos and, and give his opinion on stuff like that because people want to hear from him they want to hear what he has to say right and that's where i think you're at i think you're at that point where you could literally review review shit on a stick and people will tune in for it right because you're you're now the can i say this you're now the content not the content that you're making or the sorry they're not the content that you're covering right you're the person that they're tuning in for to watch right um but you don't have to stop doing it. You could just sprinkle other stuff in between. Like I'll rag on some shit. I'm going to rag on some shit, obviously, today with this peacemaker crap. But then in between that, I'll talk about other fighting games, right? Because I, I like keeping this channel dedicated to fighting games, but I've got other channels as well, which I want to build up too. So that's the thing, right? You could sprinkle some stuff in between and see how it hits, right? Uh, uh, however, I'm getting older, and with the state of the game never improving, getting older. You're a baby, bro. Come on. <laughs> uh, however, I'm getting older, and with the state of the game never improving, it's truly insanity to, can you, to, to continue to think, one day I'll get the respect love for just doing what I've been doing since I was 14. Well, so... You don't want it from the companies. You don't want it from NetherRealm because those people don't care. You're a, you're, a, you're a free advertising paycheck for them, right? The people that you do get it from and the people that actually matter is your family and the people that do support you no matter what, right? That's the only people that matter. Never wanted to hate Mortal Kombat, but it's hard to continue sharing space with people who hate me. Well, I don't hate him. I think this dude's awesome, right? And like I said, he helped me in the last week, right? As well as the two other friends that I had spoken to on Discord as well, right? And Dynasty, because of his experience and the height that he is at, was very helpful and i'm only small but if i can help back i will so this is i i, I tried I, I did send a message asking me if that was okay uh and that's fine um so people are probably confused just to finalize because i know people might be confused about the hum the true underdog thing right i read his message right and i got that same feeling i got when I got a response from Dynasty that time when I called him a shill, right? I felt like, okay, maybe I am wrong. Let's give the benefit of the doubt, right? And I was wrong about Dynasty, okay? Now, there was another post he made, obviously it's not there, but something about someone doing paid sponsorships and stuff. I don't know if he's talking about that, but I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt for now and with evidence that we have, with True Underdog's statement, right? To see whether or not this is actually true. Okay? And of course, the rest of that video was obviously talking about other stuff as well which I'm sure some people have deciphered. So when I read that, I'm like, oh, is this another dynasty situation where I've just read this guy wrong? Have I gotten this guy wrong? As I said, I'd much rather be wrong than right. I don't want to have shills and, and dickheads like the only pros in the community and stuff like that. I'd much rather be wrong. And that's why I prefer to go, okay, all right. You're saying it now. You're saying this statement. Let's hold you to that. Let's see. Right? Make sure. Because the optics tell otherwise. 
But if you're genuinely believing this, fine. Now I do know of the history as well. I know certain things that have been talked about and being explained to me as well, right? But I am also a Christian. And therefore, I should be going, okay, let's just see. Let's see whether or not I can be proven wrong, other people can be proven wrong, and give this other person a second chance, right? Doesn't mean to say I'm going to go hardcore on them again if they fail. It just means that I don't even give them the time of day, right? Or maybe not. I don't. I don't think so. This. I don't think it's even necessary because, like, you know, uh, at some point people are, are so ingrained with what they do, they're not going to stop regardless, right? And stopping them is not going to stop the quality of the game to a degree, right? You call them out for covering up for shit, but ultimately. A lot of my content is directed directly at NetherRealm and Warner Brothers because it's about trying to get attention about their product and hopefully getting that change. And in between that, I've talked about shills and only pros and stuff like that, right? But some of these people, it just doesn't seem to change, okay? But I'm willing to give the benefit of the doubt. And I was wrong about Dynasty. What if I'm wrong about True Underdog, right? I'm definitely not wrong about the only pros though. They've had enough chances, right? They've, had a, they've absolutely had enough chances, bunch of clowns, right? But I could be wrong, right? And if I'm wrong at being wrong, then I'm wrong. And that's okay, right? But this man helped me a week ago, whenever it was. I think it was a week ago, I'd have to check the, the, the timestamp on the Discord chat. Right, we talked for ages. Right, got my son in there. You know, it was great. You know, Dynasty's Dynasty's one of the real ones. Right, he's one of the real ones. Okay, and at the end of the day, you know, I think he's successful. He has achieved all of this on his own which is extremely commendable considering he's nearly half a million subscribers, right? That's just, I can't get over that number. Holy shit, like, that's like putting a million dollars in my bank account just not believing it for a week, right? But, I, um, you know, he, he gave me extremely sound, sound advice, right? From, from the, you know, from the perspective of being in the public eye and you know, being accused of the things he's talking about here, constantly being negative and blah, blah, blah. Being told what he can and can't cover, right? And I get that too. I get being, oh, you're so negative, this or that, whatever. So it's just, no, I am so extremely disappointed that it's palpable. I can't even express how disappointed I am about the state of Mortal Kombat. But it, I can't sit back and say nothing either, right? I can't sit back and say nothing either. So I have this dude's back, 100%. Right? 100%. He's as real as they get. So. But uh, anyway, uh, and if it helps, if you need to talk, I'm here, of course. Um, uh, but, um, yeah. Just, um, he's one of the, again, like I said, I was wrong about him and I was glad to be wrong, right? And sometimes I get that feeling about people, you know, where I've gone a bit too hard. I'm like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe my, uh, my shiller meter was off, right? And so therefore I step back, I go, hmm, okay, maybe, you know, maybe let's wait and see. Maybe let's see what will happen, you know, and maybe I have got it wrong and that's fine don't care about being wrong, right? I never said I knew everything or was perfect. So, yeah, please support this man, this young man, who is continuing to bring light about shit that should be brought to light. Um, and, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.